Hey friends, so I got uh, a message just um, a very, very short time ago. Friends all over Iraq, teammates waking up to telephone calls and news that um, a massive explosion had gone off, that there were massive sounds in various, um, particularly in Erbil is one place that we started hearing news, and then videos started emerging of Iranian ballistic missiles in the sky flying overhead um, what we later learned is en route to western Iraq to hit US troops uh, on an Iraqi Air Force base in western Iraq so right now we've got um, Iran has claimed that they have launched uh, tens of ballistic missiles from Iran so they're, they're shooting from Iran Missiles are flying overhead. We've got video, and um, our team is feeling and experiencing this right now. En route, the missiles are landing now in western Iraq, um, targeting U.S. troops and allegedly targeting numerous bases all over Iraq. I haven't confirmed that yet, but those claims are being made. Uh this is the beginning of the escalation that we've been anticipating, uh, fearing. Certainly it could get a lot worse, so um, we stay measured and at the ready for what more could come from now on out. Uh, look. <laughs> There's a lot of talk of the escalation. That de escalation um, saying things like, we want peace, we're doing this for peace. Uh, that's, that's become sort of the way of talking that everyone from Iran to President Trump to everyone in between. That's how we talk now. We talk in terms of peace. That's how we're expected to talk. And so if we have to do escalation and kill a bunch of people on the way to peace, then that's just become accepted. That's the way it is. We don't have to buy that. We ought not buy that we have to do escalation in order to get de-escalation. It's simply not true. So if our leaders are going to talk about de-escalation, if you're Persian and you're listening to this, if you're an American and you're listening to this. If we're going to talk about de-escalation, someone has to de-escalate first. Someone has to take a step back first. Someone has to take their thumb off the trigger button first. De-escalation can't just be the methodologies and the bluster and the ego maniacal stuff that's going on right now between our leaders in the public sphere. And all those religious zealots on both sides who support their cults of personality that keep pushing us further and further and further down this line. De escalation is possible. It is possible for us to walk back from this. It is possible to say we were wrong. It is possible to say we overreacted. It is possible for any one side to say we're going to be the bigger person in this. We are not going to seek revenge. We're not going to met out against you the thing you meted out against us. That wouldn't necessarily make us weak. That wouldn't necessarily make any side puny or small. It actually could show a measure of toughness. It actually could show a measure of wisdom. I don't have the ear of the president of this country, or that country, or any country at the moment. I know many of you probably feel the same. But what all of us probably do have access to, whether you're Iranian or you're American, you're Canadian, you're Brit, you're Iraqi, you're Kurdish, 
your Sunni Arab, your Shia Arab, all of us have access to some local religious leader who has access to a network of religious leaders who lend their name and their support to parliamentary, congressional, senatorial leaders who are part of a list or a coalition or a party who support national, federal leaders. What are we going to do? Are we going to leverage the influence that we have as individuals and as communities, as people of faith, as people of action, as people of principle and people of purpose? Are we going to just stand by and say, yeah, y'all do whatever you want. Continue to run our countries into the ground. Continue to, continue to mow our people into the ground. You are the best of us. You are the exemplary model of faith that we imagine when we talk about what it means to be a good Muslim, when we talk about what it means to be a good Christian, a good American, a good Iranian, a good Iraqi? Or are we going to say, you're not representing us. You're not doing what is best for us. You're not exemplifying what we believe, what we stand for, what we want for the world. Call your pastor. Call your imam. Call your network, call your congressperson, call your senator, and let them know this is not what we want. We the people, these people, your people in whose name you are waging war, in whose name you are lashing out, in whose name you are retaliating, we the people do not lend our name to this. We do not want this. We stand against this. We take our foot off the gas. We take our hands off the button because we stand for something higher. We stand for something bigger. We are reaching, we are envisioning something better than this blustery, egoistic way forward that you are pursuing in our name. We do have the power for that. We do have the power to tell our churches and our mosques in our denominations or our sects, that this is not what we want. And we will turn against you. We will withhold our dollars from you. We will not tithe. We will not give zakat. We will not give our dua. We will not give our prayers and our worship. We will not buy your books. We will not give our commerce to any of these religious faiths and any of these political parties that continue to drive us down this path. We withhold. We draw back. We are reserved. We are measured because we want to end war. We stand for peace. And I would rather me be killed than see our whole countries continue to clash and our regions be drawn together in war. I would rather, rather some people from mine not get their name or their honor or their pride avenged than go through another three or four or five decades of this. I think we have more power. I continue to believe that we have more power than we think we do. We have to turn up. We have to use our phones, use our Twitter, use our wallets and our credit cards to signal which direction we want things to go, to not give our power over to ego and to not give our peace away. We don't have to give our peace away tonight. We don't have to give our peace away.